receiver just hammers it for the line. Oh, yeah. ETH to crack himself, steps in the Nolan Pass. Is a thing of beauty. The dive, the bump, the try. Cruze on the outside. Putty has him with quick hand. Holly Davidson. It's over. Hello, rugby fans. I'm Dallin Stanford, and this is Raptors Weekly. In this chock full episode, we've got highlights from the win over Austin, interviews with two top Raptors, an example of try prevention, the competition's leading try scorer, a big hit from Atta, and a look ahead to next week's battle with the Legion. The scoring got underway on Saturday night through sustained pressure from the home team. Recycling ball nicely. That's Petzer. Petzer looks for support, gets it away. Brilliant pickup, Taikato Simpson. Davidson now. Wonderful interchanging of pass by the back line for Glendale. And once again, they find themselves 10 metres from the Austin try line. Malifa, plenty of runners, miss pass. Out to Daly, looking for quick ball. Malifa again, and what a pass to Ryberg. It'll be an easy score for him. Nobody can stop John Ryberg from that position. And it's the first try of the match for the Glendale Raptors. There's Brendan Daly taking it down. Watch this pass right here by Malifa. Skips out two man, John Ryberg. That's what he, that's what I was looking for on that first attempt. Cut back inside. He's just so tough, too high where the Austin tacklers there. You're never gonna bring John Ryberg down with high tackles like that. The Raptors earned their second try with a big man getting involved. Now the Raptors have numbers to the right. Rogers, first receiver. No, you had it, you None had it. of these Raptors players are playing. And there's Benoglio. He's through. Meters from the line. Inches, in fact. Denishan under up. pressure. That was Chris Shade with a pressurizing tackle. The Raptors. Yards away. Ah, oh, straight through is Daly. That's too much pressure. They were bound to crack. And they did eventually. And that's a second try for the Raptors, courtesy of that man, Brendan Daly. And my goodness, the two tries we've seen. What unbelievable ball retention has been by this Raptors squad. How about some of the hands we saw? There were some difficult passes. They wanted to keep the ball alive in the tackle, but the hands, Ryberg showed on right on the sideline in front of us. Beautiful effort. Austin hit back with a quick tap penalty. The captain, same way for Austin, Silva. Through the hands now, Suniula can't be brought in. Never onside. By Zinzan Puddock. And that's offside and taken quickly. Austin on the charge. Easy try for Silva and they hit back. That was 13 Great offside. try for the Austin Elite. There was the quick tap. They really caught the Glendale Raptors off guard. And there's Silva dotting down. Another look, here's the quick tap. Three on two on the outside, just going through the would-be tackler. The home side added three points on the stroke of half time. But it will be the Raptors to get the last say in this half with a three point penalty to Robert Petzer. Glendale scored first off the break as Holly Davidson maneuvered through the Austin traffic. He's slowing the ball down. Through the hands, Taikato Simpson with that flick pass to Davidson. Shrugs one, aims for the posts, and he is over. The Glendale Raptors hit back. First try of the second half to Harley Davidson. But he just revved it up right there. A little deceptive, no look pass. And Harley Davidson, he was ready for that little short pass. Beautiful score by the Raptors. Austin responded from a line out in close. Expected drive. Oh, it's nearly pinched again. They're coming Whoa. through. He's put down. So Austin lucky there to retrieve the ball after nearly pinched. Looks like he's over the line. Arm is up. It's a try. It's a try after the line out to the Austin Elite. New man to the outfit. Mo Abdelmanam. Well, we saw him defensively with three great steals in that first half. That was a really good break by Austin. Look at that. He went through four Raptors to dot down. Great try by Mo. The Raptors' next try started with a quick throw in. He says, OK, I will. And that's a much better effort from him. But it's a quick line out for the Raptors. Ryberg to Taikato Simpson to Ryberg. He's on his way. Normally always beats the first. And support comes through. So the Raptors win that exchange. 
And now they have some numbers. Munro stepping in to fly half. Up to the 22 meter line of Austin. Inside pass to nobody. A lot of those passes going to ground tonight. Petza deflected to London. Sets inside. And London for the try. You but here's the face. finish right here. Yeah. And then it goes the off and Austin player, that play on. Sit. Chad London just and cut right back in. Well, so when, when Similar to the engaged, score earlier we, hit, we saw. We but that's Glendale four tries for Glendale. That's a bonus point. Glendale added to the lead in the 71st minute. Looking to close out here. Munro comes in. You have to get back here. Get back here. Big hits. And rolling. And rolling. And it's a try. He wasn't put down. The replacement, Goff. Surely that seals the victory for Glendale tonight. Still 10 minutes left to play, but they are 36 points clear. Good strong run by Goff. This is why he had never stopped. Not held the tackle, keep rolling. Dots down, just over the line. Austin added a late consolation try in the dying stages of the match. Beautiful pass to tuck him in space. This is what we like to see from the big man. Oh, the ball inside, but it's picked up. Nearly, nearly messes that one up. But he's done enough. And the elite have scored. What about the tackle from Oliva? But that'll be full time. It's full time here. After the win, coach Dave Williams spoke with Mark Stabina and Brian Vizard about the victory. And bringing Coach Dave Williams in. Dave, you talked about uh, having consistency. One of the things you really wanted to work on the first 20 minutes, you had to be pretty pleased. But after that, that inconsistency kind of came in. Yeah, I think the first 20 minutes were really good. We stuck to our structure, stuck to our pattern. And then we kind of went away from it the last 20 minutes in that first half. And that's what we emphasized at half time. We just stick to our pattern, stick to what we want to do, stick to what we're good at, then we're making breaks. We were just a little bit too eager to get too wide too early instead of doing the hard work through the middle. And I think just how we finished that game was a bit disappointing. You know, we had opportunities to make a break and we just didn't resource this wide ruck here. We didn't exit, we let them back in the game. You know, so that's a bit disappointing way to finish the game. But I think overall, I'm happy we got the W, so let's roll on. So uh, Dave, next week, big clash here in, uh, in Glendale against San Diego. They're uh, up toward the top of the table. What can you take out of tonight's performance into next week against them? I think it's just a nice building, continue building with the players. I think the set piece went really well tonight. I was really happy with the scrum. Obviously, yeah, Brendan here had a couple of steals as well. So I think we've got, to, we've got to make that as our strength and move that forward. You know, obviously, you've got a couple of the Eagles coming back. Uh, but I think that just builds to our strength, builds to our depth, and it'll be a great game next week against San Diego. It will be indeed. Well, thanks a lot, Dave. The Broncos team also chatted with the Raptor of the match, Brendan Daly. Gee, Brendan, congratulations on the win tonight. You must be happy with your performance. Yeah, thank you very much. Just happy with the full team performance, 1 through 23. It's really awesome. And uh, Brendan, you know, you you get a great team around you. I mean, what's it like playing with these players? And week after week, you got a good coach with Dave Williams. In the build-up, it seems like this Glendale squad is is peaking at uh, you know mid-season here. Yeah, we're doing really well. I think it all starts with training. We backed ourselves with two weeks of really good training on the pitch in these great facilities, and it's always great to come out here with the home fans. Brandon, you had a fantastic game. As we mentioned, you were absolutely everywhere tonight. Line-out time, ball in hand, and the defense as well. And you also scored a try, nearly scored a second there. I mean, an inspired performance from you, some support from your men, but straight through. That must have been a good feeling. You'll be talking about that one tonight, I'm sure, and a practice all week. That was from 40 meters out, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Brendan, what was tipping you off in the lineouts down deep? Five meter scrums, I mean, five meter lineouts. You guys stole like three or four. When Austin needed them, you guys came up with them. Yeah, I think it was just the full five guys talking together, talking them out of it, and then getting up real quick. Oh, well, very fantastic. Very, very modest here. Well, thank you very much, Brendan. Dallin explains this week features a stellar bit of defense from Dylan Ticato Simpson and Brendan Daly as they kept the Austin ball carrier from completing what looked to be a certain try. And now he puts ball to boot. Counter-attacking. Our Austin straight through. Beautiful run. Joart still going. He may go all the way. He changes hands and he will. Slices them open as he held up. Oh, we're going to have to have a look at this one. He's already called it held up. How on earth? Was that held up? Oh my goodness. Oh, Let's see the tail end of it here. The There's Daly. In goal, they don't have to roll Tycato away. Takato Simpson. You understand that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In goal, they don't have to yeah, roll away. Yep, he held up. Yeah, he can clean. Good call by the referee. Great defense by the Raptors.
Again, you can see very clearly that even though the ball is in the try zone, it is not being grounded, so it's definitely not a try. Remember, the ball has to be touched down in goal in order for a try to be awarded. Just crossing the line is not enough. This is exactly why you never give up defensively, because it's not a try until the runner actually grounds the ball in goal. The Raptors' try of the week was dotted down by offensive dynamo and winger supreme John Ryberg. Middle of the field, Denishin. Recycling ball nicely. That's Petzer. Petzer looks for support, gets it away. Brilliant pickup, Taikato Simpson. Davidson now. Wonderful interchanging of pass by the back line for Glendale. And once again, they find themselves 10 metres from the Austin try line. Malifa, plenty of runners. Miss pass out to Daly. Looking for quick ball. Malifa again, and what a pass to Ryberg. It'll be an easy score for him. Nobody can stop John Ryberg from that position. And it's the first try of the match for the Glendale Raptors. Let's take a look at the offensive pressure that we talked about. And here it is, Petzer making that big sprint down the sideline. There's the hands we're talking about. And again, back inside the support play by the Raptors squad. There's Harley Davidson getting back to his feet, going to ground now. And you see the, the lining up, Atta Malif on the outside, the field marshal out here. He's done a, such a wonderful job with his back line. Again, Brendan Daly, more pressure, just keeping that defense on their toes, keeping them going backwards. There was the missed pass. There's the cutback by the league's leading try scorer, John Ryberg. That's five for him now, leading the MLR. Stopping muscles out wide is rapidly becoming one of the most daunting tasks for Major League Rugby defenders. To stay fully connected with the Raptors all week long, go to our Twitter feed and Instagram page at Glendale Raptors. Then visit our Facebook page and YouTube channel at Glendale Raptors Rugby. <coughs> our big hit of the week is a smashing effort from Raptor stalwart Atta Malifa. Short on penalty. Could they get the last say here, the Austin oh, Elite. Oh, Malifa oh, comes out of nowhere oh, with a crunching hit. Oh, Who would have thought? It's not a common occurrence to see a fly off stopping a flank at dead in his tracks, but then again, Malifa is not your average 10. What about the tackle from Malifa? Good body position and plenty of aggression are key elements in this bone jarring tackle. The Raptors' bonus point victory over Austin moved them up a spot in the standings where they now sit in third with 20 points. Their opponent on Saturday night will be the San Diego Legion, who are in fourth position on the table with 19 points. The Legion are coming with a tough loss to the Toronto Arrows in round 7. The most fun you can have on a Saturday night is to come out to Infinity Park and watch the Glendale Raptors take on the San Diego Legion. That's Saturday, March 16th at 7pm Mountain Time. Second best is to watch the match live on KTV D20, your home for Raptors rugby. Thanks for watching Raptors Weekly. We'll see you next time with complete coverage from Round 8 at Infinity Park.